all right guys um this is not something i usually talk about on the channel talking about you know twitch streamers and all of this other stuff but twitch is something that i that I watch from time to time. I usually watch people, you know, playing video games and stuff like that. That's about it. Um, these just chatting, you know, e-girls or whatever, e what you want to call them, um, you know, that just sit down, you know, they show a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? They show a little something, something to get the, the little teenage boys horny and all of this other stuff and donate to their stream or whatever donate to them and, and and all this other stuff like i know i know about it all that is the the side of twitch that makes the most money and that's why it will never go away if you're wishing that it'll go away it's not going to go away no matter how much the men you know or the boys on twitch complain and they say oh they have it so easy and whatever it's not going to go away they're always going to be horny little boys that are going to give these pretty girls their parents hard earned money and even some grown ass men out there too right i have no doubt about it it's gonna happen right it's gonna happen so i want to talk about this latest news with invader v and i have an opinion to share about what she what she did it went viral that's why i'm talking about it because it came across my timeline Right, came across my timeline, came across my 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 um my YouTube feed that a lot of the news channels on, um, on YouTube were covering it, you know the scares, um the you know cavos and oh I'm giving YouTubers shoutouts for no reason. <laughs> Anyways, if you, if you guys are not subscribed to them, you know what I'm saying. It's up to you if you want to go subscribe to them. If you want to know about YouTube news, I'm I, I'm a cavos fan because he he's a very um, not a biased new, um, YouTube, um, news, YouTuber news <laughs> channel. So I subscribe to him, of course, but the others come, come across every now and then Keemstar, you know what I'm saying? So, um, this invader V situation was basically, I'm not going to use any clips. If you want to know about, if you haven't seen this, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing because it's all over. News channels have put this up, like legitimate news channels have picked this up because she basically was basically telling her subs, not her subs, the people that was watching her streams that, you know, they should be, a, they should be able to afford $5 to sub to her channel on Twitch. That's just the you know, base the basic thing about what she was saying. She doubled down, you know, to talk about. I think this girl is is kind of something was wrong when she was talking. She doubled down on certain things, and I'm like, I don't think this from the way how she was talking. It kind of seems like she wasn't aware that there was a pandemic going on. You know what I'm saying? Like she said some things that that had that had me like do you know that the covid-19 is like having people in their homes right now people trying to hold on to whatever they have to whatever little that they have right now like you know what i'm saying some people are in a totally different category right now you know and you know, she just went on and on. She issued an apology. I think it was today. She issued an apology. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that her, her apology was a lie. You know, she's fully dressed and all this other stuff. My opinion on the entire situation, and I'm saying this because I'm sitting here and I'm basically, um, after I finish with my music reactions, now I'm sitting down waiting on my Yu Yu Hakusho videos to, to, to be done, right? So I said, let me talk about this situation because it keeps popping up on my damn timeline. And um, while my computer is doing um, the Yu Yu Hakusho stuff, I can't really do anything other than I can record a video, but I can't really do anything else. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Anything else would probably crash my shit. So 
I don't want to do anything else too heavy driven right now on my computer. So I said, let me talk about this. If you guys have an opinion on it, it's okay. As I said, I'm not going to show any clips. I'm just talking. Okay. If you want to see the clips, look her up. It's Invader V. She lost a ton of subscribers after she did that. I think it was last week at some point. But regardless, right? Regardless of, of what she said, she issued an, 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 an an apology i didn't agree with what she said in the initial issue initial video when i looked at it i said there's some parts of it that is very true that i agree with you know what i'm saying like um i didn't agree with the part where she was saying that if you can afford if you can afford to sit down and watch twitch you can afford five dollars that part was harsh you can't force people to 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 donate to you, you can't force people to like your content it could be Tons of people was probably were probably there just because they they like what you had to say at that point. That don't mean that they're gonna subscribe to you to be a fan for a while. You get what I'm saying? So that was wrong of her to say, but she did say some things that were right. And this is this is where you know I think a lot of the uh, the channels that are covering this they're not talking about the things that she said that they agree with that should be agreeable you get what i'm saying um you know that you should look out for yourself first before you know what i'm saying before you go and try to 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 go this but she was she she was going in she doubled down she said more bad than good let's just say that but i really want to talk about the apology that she issued today right I think the only, I think she did more, she said more good things than bad. We're just, a, I'm not, I don't care if it was fake and it's not how she truly feels. What she said, I can accept. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. What she said, I can, I can accept it. You get what I'm saying? I can accept it. I would, if she was apologizing to me, I would accept it. I wouldn't look at her and be like, oh, it's fake and whatever i don't i wouldn't have cared if it came from a genuine place or whatever because really and truly most of the time you can't tell if people are actually lying right so one where she went bad in the apology or what she said that was bad was she said that that's not how she truly felt right and that's where it just kind of made everything that came after that seem just off the board wrong and fake and a lie because let me tell let me tell you guys something let me tell you guys something you see when you are convicted about something and that's how you truly feel about something you will double down on it regardless of what's going regardless of what's going around unless you stop and actually think if you're continuously talking and you feel like your point is valid you're going to continue to talk. And I think that's what happened to her during that stream, right? I think that's what happened to her. It, it seemed like she was making a valid point and even, even though her conscience was probably telling her, hey, there's a pandemic going on, now is not the time. If, if COVID-19 was not happening right now, if this pandemic was not going in right now, I don't think that video would have blew up because the way how she was talking, she was not screaming. She was, not, she was just eloquently explaining how she felt about the situation, about people watching her stream and not subbing, okay? I could have that same knee-jerk reaction when it comes on to um, my channel and people subscribing to Patreon and all of this other stuff. I could have the same reaction, but for what? For what? You get what I'm saying? That's not how I truly feel about the situation. You guys have seen me come on here multiple times and tell y'all how skeptic I am of actually even starting a freaking Patreon because, but it's so, it's just because so many people have said, Hey man, I would love to buy you a cup of coffee. Let me um, donate something to you and so give back because you give us so much. And that's the reason why I set up the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? I could easily come on here and talk and talk about that stuff. But for what is not how I truly feel. 
is what I'm trying to say. I could say, hey, man, there's so many of y'all watching my anime and stuff like that. Support the Patreon. $3. I could easily, but that's not how I feel. I would rather you keep that. I'd rather you keep that because if you're not enjoying the content or if you are enjoying the content, but you don't feel like it's worth three dollars to you. That's fine by me. I want you to make a conscious choice on your own to support the channel, not by me begging or not by me forcing you or telling you it's wrong to watch my content without actually supporting me as in as, as an individual that's absolutely ridiculous guys why do you think i put the patreon on basically on hold i was about to roll out a bunch of all of this stuff that you see i'm doing on the channel right now all of it was going to be rolled out on patreon for early access all of it and i put it on hold because i know people need their money and even if it's your choice to support me on Patreon. I am stopping the buck here. I am stopping the buck here because if you if you are not responsible enough, don't worry. I'll make you responsible enough. And that's how I look at things because, listen, man, instead of you giving me $3 or $5 a month, you never know. You might need that $3 or $5 next month. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm not saying y'all are a bunch of broke niggas out here. It's not what I'm trying to say. That is not what I'm trying to say. We are in a global pandemic right now. I feel so scummy to be asking you guys for any type of contributions. That's just how I feel. That's how I truly feel. And I see, I think that's where she went wrong in her apology when she said that's not how she truly... She should have said, that's how I truly feel, but it was the wrong time to say it. That's what she should have said. Probably, I'm telling you, it wouldn't have been this bad. It would have just been like all the others that have done it in the past on, on Twitch. That's all it would have been. That's all it would have been. Okay? That's all it would have been. It would have been just like the others because she's not the first one to say that. She is not the first one to do it on Twitch as a girl. I don't think, a, I think it's only one guy that's, that has ever done that. That has ever argued about subs and sub to the channel, oh, and this and that. And I can't stand to see them. Dude, you cannot. The thing about it is this, when creators come, when, when content creators come on these platforms, YouTube, Twitch, all this stuff that is turning around to make people, turn people into giving people six figure incomes and turn them into millionaires and stuff like that based on them just providing content through a camera, right? They don't want to, they don't want, they don't want to get to the point where they can grow anymore. I remember when you had to sit down when it comes on to YouTube. There are people on YouTube that have been on YouTube for 10 plus years and still don't have an, a, a great audience. Do their content suck? No. Their content don't suck. Are they making a ton of money on YouTube? No, they're not. They maybe make maybe $1,000 a month. And that's still, that's still a lot of money based on views. 10 years and, and, and not have a million subscribers is, and that's the thing. It has become, it, it has become to the, to the point where I'm looking at it and say, is it better to build a, a, a solid community than to aim for high subscriber count? You get what I'm saying? Because you can see in the numbers, I know channels that are, haven't hit 10k subs yet and making a ton of money on youtube based off of merch their content gets way more views than subscriber counts right and that's just it if you can achieve that level you get what i'm saying that's just because they have awesome personality charisma and and all of this other stuff right trust me Build a relationship with your community, which is what I'm trying to do over here on this channel. And that's why I don't really watch my subscriber count 
that much. I don't care about it. I have goals for my subscriber account, but I don't care about it. And that's why I keep telling you guys, I'm trying to build a catalog over here. I'm trying to react to as much things as possible because I know one day, I know one day, I don't know what day is going to be, but I know one day that this YouTube channel terabyte reacts is going to take off and the YouTube algorithm is going to start pushing my videos and everybody's going to be asking me, you know, and that's why I'm, I'm considering because uh, more and more people is telling me, oh, there's the view limit on Google Drive and stuff like that. I am going to start slowly um, putting my reactions up on Vimeo, right? They won't be available for the channel yet, but as soon as everything is, is done and is up on video, because with Vimeo, you can only upload so much to them um, in a week, right? They limit you to a certain amount of data per week. So you can't just upload everything you have one time. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? These things take time. So that's the position I'm in. I, I'm not a greedy person. So that has never been a trait that I have. I know that about myself. And I think that when it comes on to this girl, Invader V, I think that I think it was a legit apology, but I think I still think that she said some things. I think, you know, she said some things that she probably wish she didn't say in the apology. I think she legitimately uh, I, I know a lot of people is going to give her flack. You get what I'm saying? And everybody wants to cancel everybody and all of this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't believe that. She, I mean, she's not going to be canceled because no, ma no matter what, she's still a pretty girl. And pretty girls are running the Internet right now. They are making the most in most money on the Internet right now. When it comes on to ma the majority of people, if you're going to talk about the top 10 people that that are making um, money on the Internet, that are making money on the internet, like on a monthly basis. I promise you, I promise you over 50% of them are girls. I promise you. If, if you're, if you're encompassing everything, including, you know, only fans and all of this other stuff, I'm not just talking about Twitch and YouTube. I'm talking about if you include everything, some of these girls are, are, are making buku money per month, six figures a month crazy money you know what i'm saying six figures seven figures a month you know what i'm saying it's crazy out here you know what i'm saying uh, us as men we can't just we we can't just take off our drawers and stuff happens <laughs> you know what i'm saying like these girls basically they just have to show a little bit of skin and these horny little boys and men some some of these disgusting men that are logging on to these streams and donating tons of money to these to these little girls and and and, and you know for, for just chatting you know absolutely detestable but anyways as i said i watch when i go to, to twitch i watch dudes like maximilian dude um love that dude streams man um um i watch roger's base um um who else do I watch on Twitch? King of Lightning, you know. Um, who else do I watch? I think I, I think those are the three main the three main ones that I watch on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't watch none of these these girls. They ain't got nothing to offer to me. You know, <laughs> they ain't got nothing to offer. Um, you can't miss them because they're on the front page of Twitch. You can't miss them. They're there just chatting, whatever, you know, some of them are half naked. I don't know what are the rules on Twitch anymore. You know, it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. But anyways, you know, I just want you guys to know that I appreciate y'all. That's why I'm making, I'm making this video because I also don't have nothing else to do right now. But I wanted to talk about this situation because I was just watching a video. Um, you know, I saw that she put out an apology and somebody was covering it on youtube so i finished watching the video and i said oh, it would be cool if i made a video on this because everybody's basically talking about it so and that's one of the things about that can grow your channel too on youtube is if you talk about things that are happening 
things that are viral, things that are, you know, trending, if you want to call it that. So, um, so I really do appreciate you guys. If you enjoy this message, man, don't forget to leave a like as always leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this situation. Cause I know y'all are up to date on it. I know y'all are up to date on it. It is no way you could have missed this going on. It was all over the place, you know? So that's my stance on it. I think she could have I think she said a couple of things that was wrong in the apology. As I said, I'm not going to play anything from her because these these girls out here, they they will strike your channel. <laughs> it is a very flawed system on YouTube of, of people flagging videos for using their face. <laughs> you know, it's weird, but on, but I'm not going to try to do that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought of this situation. If you heard about it, of course, in the comment section. Um like dislike whatever the situation is what you think of this entire situation i love you guys man i'm gonna continue to put out this content for y'all i'm about to go react to some yu yu haka show hopefully you guys will appreciate that and love and love i know you guys are loving the content so anyways thank you guys so much i'll catch you guys later peace